In this video, we're going to talk about uh, properties of uh, trapezoids and isosceles trapezoids. Um, I've mentioned before, it's really important that you know the different properties of our special quadrilaterals. So if you need to make note cards for those, or if you want to uh, make your own Quizlet or find a Quizlet online, there's plenty of those as well. So you can uh, start learning those uh, special quadrilateral prop properties. All right, so let's start with a non-isosceles trapezoid. And what you notice here is that in my picture, I have one pair of sides parallel. Okay, so property of non-isosceles trapezoids, only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. And the reason for this is if we add more than one side, it wouldn't be a trapezoid anymore. It would be a different special quadrilateral. And then consecutive angles are supplementary. So, what we're looking at here is this pair. So, I have an upper angle and I have a lower angle. These two parallel sides, we typically call those bases. So, this is the upper base. And then this would be the lower base. So if I take an upper base angle and a lower base angle on the same side, those are going to be supplementary. So they're going to add up to 180. And I also have a pair of supplementary angles on this side. So if you recall back to our parallel lines, this is a pair of same side interior. And since the lines are parallel, we know they're supplementary. And this is a pair of same side interior angles. So one of those properties that you're going to have to use, sometimes you'll be given expressions. Maybe you'll uh, add these up and set them equal to 180 to solve for x. All right, and then the last parts that we have here are the legs. So I have a leg over here and a leg over there. So those are the parts and properties of our non-isosceles trapezoid. Basically, it's a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel, and it has some additional properties. Now, when we move to an isosceles trapezoid, it's going to have the same parts, except now the non-parallel side, remember those are called our legs, are going to be congruent. Okay, so once we do that, we make the diagonals congruent. You see these dotted lines, those are going to be congruent. We're going to make the base angles congruent. So let's go ahead and mark those. So I have my base angles congruent. So those are my lower base angles. And these are my upper base angles. So the upper base angles are congruent and the lower base angles are congruent. And it says opposite angles are supplementary. Really, any angle from the top and any angle from the bottom are going to be supplementary. So if I pick this angle on the top, I can pick either angle on the bottom and the, that pair will be supplementary. Um, so it has a lot more properties than uh, a non-isosceles trapezoid or usually we'll just call it a trapezoid. So uh, make sure you have uh, this handy when you're working on your uh, problems until you've uh, learned them. And if you had any questions, make sure you ask, and we'll see you in the next video.